In these next couple examples, I want to show you how to calculate E cell under standard conditions. E cell is the cell potential or voltage for an electrochemical cell. Standard conditions are 25 degrees C and all solutes start at one molar. The superscript, which looks like a degree sign, implies standard conditions. Here we have a reaction between silver ion and chromium solid. The two half reactions are as follows. The voltages for the half reactions are reported as reduction potentials. Even though the chromium is undergoing oxidation, we look up the reduction potential for the chromium half reaction. We substitute the reduction potentials in the equation E cell equals E cathode minus E anode. If you're thinking that, well, the chromium half reaction needs to be reversed, and so does the voltage, the subtraction sign in this equation takes that into account. E cell at standard conditions is 1.539 volts. This is highly product favored. I want to point out again that the reaction begins with one molar concentrations of all solutes, but those concentrations of solutes change as the reaction proceeds in the forward direction, producing products. The voltage decreases until equilibrium is reached. An electrochemical cell that has reached equilibrium is analogous to a dead battery. Because the forward and reverse rates of reaction are equal, there is no net forward flow of electricity, nor is there a net reverse flow of electricity. Here we will calculate the cell potential under standard conditions for the silver ion reacting with magnesium metal. Here are the two half reactions and the respective reduction half potentials. After substituting these reduction potentials into the equation, E cell equals E cathode minus E anode, we end up with a very positive E cell voltage, highly, highly product favored. In a subsequent video, I will show you how to calculate an equilibrium constant given a cell potential. The equilibrium constant for this cell is extraordinarily large. So to remind you again, all solutes begin at one molar concentration, and as the reaction proceeds, the reactant concentration will decrease and the product concentration will increase. Because this is such a highly product favored reaction, once equilibrium has been attained, the concentration of the silver ion is likely to be extremely small.